This isn't another sketchy Windows mod from the internet. This is Tiny1125H2V9, the only official and verified build trusted by thousands worldwide. It runs on just seven gigabytes of space and 256 megabytes of RAM, yet gives you the latest Windows 11 experience, clean, fast, and completely bloat-free. Hi, this is Neil from Upidus. This is where we make Windows actually fast, secure, and usable again. In this video, I'll show you everything you need to get Tiny11 up and running, step by step. First, we'll build Tiny11 using the Creator tool. Then, we'll see how to install it without a USB using Xeno, and also how to install it with a bootable USB using Rufus. If you don't want to reinstall Windows, we'll look at an alternative app, Velotic, which I'll talk about later in the video. Next, we'll see how to compress Tiny11 to free up more disk space, how to install your preferred browser, and how to fix crashes or out-of-memory errors, how to install drivers for smooth performance. We'll also cover how to change your system language easily. And finally, we'll go through the benefits of Tiny11 and help you decide if it's the right choice for you. So let's get started. Now let's begin by creating Tiny11 using the Creator tool. Open the creator that you've got from our official website. You'll find the link in the pinned comment below. Once you open it, simply click on Build, and the creator will begin preparing your Tiny11 installer automatically. If you prefer not to build it yourself, you can also grab the Ready installer directly from our site. We provide both options for your convenience. Before you start, make sure you have a genuine Windows 11 license. We only support clean, legitimate setups, never anything shady. Depending on your network speed, the process might take a few minutes. When it's done, you'll see a message that says, Build finished successfully in the log. That's your sign that the installer is ready to go. And one important note, never download Tiny11 from any other website. That's the fastest way to get your PC infected or compromised. Always use the official creator or installer provided by us. Next, let's look at Xeno, a small but powerful tool that lets you install Tiny11 without using a bootable USB. You'll find Xeno included inside our package. Simply open it and select the Tiny11 installer you built earlier. Then, choose the drive where you want to install Tiny11. Before proceeding, make sure there's nothing important on that drive since formatting will erase all existing data. Set the file system to NTFS, confirm your selection, and let Xeno handle the rest. In just a few minutes, Tiny11 will be fully installed. Once it's done, restart your PC. You should now see a dual boot menu with Tiny11 listed. In the rare case it doesn't appear, you can easily create a boot entry using a third-party BCD editor, like EasyBCD or VisualBCD, and that's it. No USBs, no complicated setup, just a clean and simple installation process. If Xeno gives you an error, or you simply prefer using a bootable USB, you can go ahead with Rufus. It's a reliable and straightforward method. Plug in a USB drive with at least 8 gigabytes of space and make sure there's no important data on it, since the process will erase everything. Open Rufus, select your Tiny11 installer, choose the USB drive, and start the build. The process usually takes around 5 to 10 minutes, depending on your system and USB speed. Once it's done, you'll have a bootable Tiny11 USB ready to install. Now restart your PC and press the boot menu key, usually F12, F8, or ESC, depending on your brand, and select the USB drive. If you're not sure which key it is for your device, just give it a quick Google search. It's easy to find. After that, your Tiny11 setup will start automatically. The setup is actually much simpler than regular Windows 11. You'll be taken straight to a screen where you just choose the drive to install Tiny11 on. Proceed carefully here. Double check which drive you're selecting since the installation will overwrite everything on it. If you're wondering about language options, don't worry. We'll handle that right after the installation. Once it's complete, Tiny11 will boot directly to the desktop, clean and ready to use. But if you'd rather not reinstall Windows or you just want a quick effortless speed boost, you should definitely check out our app, Velotic. It transforms your existing windows into Tiny11 with just a few clicks. Velotic isn't a cleaner, it's a system overhaul. It raises FPS, cuts lag, and keeps your PC running like it's brand new every single day. 
CPU and GPU are tuned automatically. Junk files are deleted before you even notice. Hidden slowdowns? Gone in real time. You get over 500 pro-level tweaks, one-click Windows debloat, instant app installs, and smart power management that adapts to how you work or play. It even compresses data safely to free up 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick fix. It's the same technology used by power users and studios to keep systems fast and reliable. Built over three years, tested by thousands, and refined with every update. $19.99 once. Lifetime speed, zero effort. Velotic. Built for performance users who refuse slow. Now the most important part, turning Windows 11 into Tiny 11. Open Velotic, go to the Debloat page and hit play. That's it. The entire process runs automatically. In one click, your PC becomes Tiny 11 fast, with no files deleted and no features broken. A full guide is linked in the i button and the description below. Back to our clean Tiny 11 installation. Once it's finished installing through Rufus or Xeno, your PC will boot straight to the desktop. The first thing you should do is enable compression. This feature compresses your system drive, saving up to 60% of disk space with zero performance loss. It's completely safe and recommended for everyone. Once done, you'll see the full Windows 1125H2 build with Defender, Microsoft Store, and updates fully intact, all in just seven gigabytes. Compare that to stock Windows, which easily takes 40 gigabytes or more, even before you install anything. Now that the installation is complete, let's get you connected to the internet. Open the Configure app and click on the browser of your choice. I'm going with Chrome, but you can pick Edge, Opera, or Firefox. You're no longer forced to use Edge. Which browser do you use? I'm curious. Drop a comment below. I actually read every one of them. In just a few seconds, Chrome will finish installing, completely automated, with a single click. Once you're online, check out my YouTube channel and our partner channel, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. You'll also find the link to our Discord server in the description, where you can hang out with other Tiny11 users, get support, and even catch early sneak peeks of upcoming builds. If you're experiencing random crashes or out of memory errors, here's the fix. Open the Configure app, enable paging files, and then restart your PC. This should solve most stability issues instantly. Paging files are turned off by default to save space, but enabling them greatly improves overall system stability. Now, one of the most important parts, drivers. Drivers are what make every part of your PC work properly, from graphics to sound to input. In Tiny11, installing drivers is effortless. You don't need to search sketchy websites or deal with confusing setups. Just open the Configure app, click Install Drivers, and when the list appears, you can either install specific ones or simply choose Install All. It's that easy. So, do you really need drivers? If you're a gamer or video editor, you'll need them for your graphics card. If you're on a laptop, drivers handle your touchpad, touchscreen, and keyboard function keys. For desktop users, they cover Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, and even power management. Once installed, your PC runs at its full potential, smoothly, efficiently, and without any hassle. Now let's change the system language in case you want something other than English. Open PowerShell as administrator, type install hyphen language and press enter. You'll then see a list of available language codes on screen. Just pause the video if you need time to choose. Enter your preferred code and stay connected to the internet for about 20 to 30 minutes while the setup completes. In this example, I'm using PT-BR. That's Portuguese, Brazil, but you can pick any language you prefer. Once the installation is complete, go to settings, time, and language language and region, and select your preferred display language. Below that, you'll see two copy buttons. Click both to apply your display language to the welcome screen and system accounts. This will make your entire Windows interface, from login to desktop, appear fully in your chosen language. And that's it. Your system is now completely transformed.
Tiny 11 Premium is built for people who value performance, privacy, and peace of mind. No lag, no clutter, no wasted potential, just performance that lasts. And sure, you can grab free builds from some random Creator X online if you don't mind the free malware that tags along. If you want safety, speed, and peace of mind, our premium build is the only right way. Thanks for watching. This is Apidus, signing off.